today I'm making Pong, but there's a twist. In normal Pong, the ball bounces back and forth, and the players can only move their paddles up and down. But in my Pong, I'm going to make it so that players can move their paddles anywhere on the screen, kind of like hockey. Since you will now be able to get above or below the ball and hit it, I'm going to make the paddles square so that you can hit it evenly from all sides. I'm coding this without a game engine, so it will be more difficult to make the collisions and other things that a game engine might help you with. Also, if you want to try this, you can play it at pigsquiggle.netlify.app, linked in the description. To start, I made a background that looks like an old TV monitor, since Pong is an old game. Then, I rendered two paddles and made them move. I also added collisions in between them. There were a few bugs while making this, but it was just because I made a simple mistake in the math. After that, I think I got started on making the ball. I'm not really sure because I was originally going to make this as a side project in between videos, but it ended up being so fun that I thought I had to make a video about it. I didn't record the process, so I'm kind of just deconstructing the final project to show each step I made. Anyway, first I made the ball's velocity flip when it touches a paddle or wall to simulate bouncing. The paddles could still go through the ball though, so I made collisions between the paddles and the ball. I also made the paddles have friction, so when you hit the ball, it goes the direction you're going. Then I added goals on either side, a score, and a countdown in between rounds. I tested this with my friend, and we played almost 200 rounds of it. He really liked it, but he found one bug where sometimes your input would get delayed, and we discovered that instead of having the ball sit in the center, it would have some velocity at the start of the round. I fixed those two things, and now the game is finished. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I have some more videos planned soon, like a powder physics engine and a new 3D renderer. I think I'll make the powder physics one in my next video. Bye!